Hey there everyone, welcome to another radio video on this series of tuning shortwave one megahertz at a time so that you'll have an idea depending on the megahertz band you are using what you can hear on your radio. We will talk about one of the very big bands I would say 21 megahertz is a one megahertz segment that packs a lot of stuff together. Basically, it's split in half pretty much. Half of it is amateur radio 15 meter band. Half of it is the 15 meters, uh, 13 meters international broadcast band. So, let's start with the tuning and the explanations as we go. So, 21 megahertz starts with CW signals. Uh, normally, which is uh, Morse code. And here we go. So this is the lower part of the 15 meter amateur radio band. Then you'll get into a little transition where you get these digital signals. Like for example, this is BPSK31 digitals mode. This is another type of digital mode. This is radio teletype, another radio amateur mode. Up to about 21100. Then you'll have some more Morse code here. And I'd say that about 21,150, you'll want to change to upper sideband. And here you'll have radio amateurs all around the world that use this 15 meter band. Propagation characteristics of this band are daytime, most mostly daytime reception. But it can go up to late evening when propagation conditions are good, solar activity is high. It can also also uh, be uh, an all-nighter, especially in the summer. I've noticed summer reception sometimes going all through the night when solar activity is very high. So she can't, you know, pick her up, you know, and help her move. You'll hear stations from all over the world on 15 meters, and actually the only band that I've ever received Japanese uh, stations from ham radio operators. So uh, it's a good, really good band. It's very alive when there's some contesting. And then we'll get to the end of the band. At 21,450, you'll change for the AM mode. Because this is the start of the 13 meters shortwave international broadcast band, which goes all the way up to 21,850. This is Radio France from French Guiana. So the 13 meters international broadcast band is used during the daytime broadcasts of many many shortwave stations 
Um, it's not because often when you tune it on here too much that you have to leave it alone. It's actually one of those bands where uh, you can hear uh, interesting broadcasts. Uh, example is I receive uh, BBC on 21470 from Cyprus quite well in the morning here. I receive the Deutsche Villa French service early in the morning on uh, 21780. So uh, lots of signals. Uh, tune around and you'll hear stuff on the 13 meters international broadcast band. But I must say it's probably one of the least used international broadcast band. Uh, especially because we just came out of a very low solar activity and the band wasn't that good but now it's getting pretty nice with all the uh, solar activity picking up and it stops at 21850 for the rest of the band it's mostly utility signals that can be received And here we go. So this was the tuning around of the 21 megahertz band. So um, hope you enjoy this series of videos, basically explaining each megahertz segment of the shortwave band. And so this was the 21 megahertz segment. If you have any comments or questions, uh, please feel free. Uh, this is a great radio channel to subscribe to if you want to have more videos of anything happening in the radio world. Uh, basically, this channel is not only uh, short wave. Technically, I will have signals in out of band areas like uh, VHF and UHF. But I'm thinking more and more of actually doing a separate channel for what's above 30 megahertz and linking them together so that you'll have one for shortwave and one for everything else uh, VHF, UHF and maybe even one separate for uh, for example long wave, medium wave who knows these are the projects but you need time to do all these projects and that's something that I don't have a lot of so uh, this was 21 MHz hope you enjoyed this video 73's